All right, it's time for another one of our Amish starter recipes. We are doing snickerdoodles, which I actually already had a really good recipe for from my dad, but I thought this would be fun to try out and see how it compares. All right, guys. Come on, stop. Come on, just there. All right, so we're gonna start off with a whole cup of butter, which is two sticks. You wanna suck them under room temperature. We've been sitting out for a little over an hour. Kind of just getting it all off there into the bowl. that. Then we've got one and a half cup sugar. And we're going to be using some other sugar later when we roll them around. That part's done. Sorry. We always need. Got our one cup of starter. Yum, yum, yum. We have our two eggs. Okay, guys, and three sticks covered. That's the Christie series on Hulu. Oh, okay. It's a new one. And when I saw it, I actually thought to myself, I think I've seen them do this before, but like I blocked it out of my head. But anyway, all right. Can you guys see that enough? Maybe we'll go down a little bit more. All right. Yeah. All right. Bring it all the way. All nicely mixed. I might put a cream just to butter in the sugar first. I don't know why I didn't think to do that because I think I thought about it beforehand and then the instructions were just like, just mix everything that's wet. And I I would recommend doing the butter in the sugar first because it's just a little easier. And I forgot. <laughs> and that's okay. says to just do all the dry ingredients. But I'm actually going to put them all through here first. So we have four cups of flour. We have a lot of cookies. <laughs> a lot of cookies. All right, and then it is also, excuse me, one teaspoon of baking soda. We've got two teaspoons crema tartar. Alright. 
then it was a teaspoon of cinnamon. quarter teaspoon of salt. Kind of just lightly make sure everything's already a little pre-blended. A good thing to do with snickerdoodle dough before you do anything is to put it in the fridge at least 15 to 30 minutes. So we're going to do that and we will check back. All right, since it's almost ready to take our stuff out of the fridge, we're going to get our little bowl of some sugar. It's probably too much sugar. You can always add more, but then you can't always take it away. Sometimes you need it for other things, so you don't want to use them all. Just kind of there we go. So what we're doing now is we're going to get it, I'm just going to show you a few, roll it in a ball, roll it through, okay. and plop it on our cookie dough sheet. That is it. A little time consuming, but not too bad. So yeah. Then we will be baking them once I'm done getting all these done, which you don't need to watch me do every single one. I'm going to pause you and bring you back. All right, we're putting them in at 375 for 10 minutes. We'll check and make sure they're done, and if not, we'll do a couple more minutes. Check back then. They are done. Mmm. <laughs> bon appetit. Have a great one. We'll see you later.